today I'm going to show you how to use some scotch positionable mounting adhesive to mount this picture into this map board. So we're going to start off by going over what we're going to need to mount this photograph on this backer board in this mat. Uh, you're going to need some 3M Scotch Positionable Mounting Adhesive, also known as PMA. Now I buy the 16 inch by 50 foot roll and I usually just get it from Amazon. 16 inches pretty much covers anything that I'm going to mount. Uh, up to 11 by 14. You can even do a 16 by 20. You're going to need some linen hinging tape and um, this here is uh, what it looks like. I'll put a link to all this in the video in the description. The size of this here is one and a quarter inches by 35 feet. You're going to need a drinking glass or a small glass like this. You're going to need a lint free sock I'll explain all that later. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a number two pencil, and that's all you're going to need. So now what we're going to do, we're going to start this process off and I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the mat board and the backing board ready. And this is my, my mat board. It's a 16 by 20. This is an 11 by 14 print. And what we want to do is position the mat board and the backing board upside down back to back like this. And it's kind of hard to get all this in the uh, on the video screen. I'm nearly falling off my desk. And then we're going to take some of this linen tape that I showed you and we're going to pull off a length of it that would go across the mat board. This is a 16 inches wide. So we need about a 15 inch piece. We don't need a, all the way 16 inches. And you make sure these are kind of butted up together like so. And we're going to peel this apart. And this stuff here is uh, a linen tape so it's real easy to, to make the hinge that you're going to need to have to mount this print. And what I do is just stick it right on that board like that. Press it down. And now you created the hinge for the backer board and the mat board. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place, make sure you don't get no dirt on this stuff. Your surface should be pretty clean. We're going to place the print inside and kind of line it up. So the way we like it, the way we want it, and uh, you just keep playing with it till you get it just about right. This is a double mat, what I call double mat. I prefer the double mats myself. So it's upside down, but you can see, I'm going to move it up just a little bit. Okay, so once you've got it positioned in the window the way you want it, you need to hold it in place. That's where this drinking glass and this lint proof <laughs> wool sock comes in. So what I like to do is put the glass inside the sock so it doesn't scratch your print. You probably don't have to put it inside a sock, but that's just what I do. Now when I normally do these, I'm doing quite a few of these at one time, so it's kind of like a production mode. So I will lay that on top of that print. And what that's going to allow me to do is hold it into place. And then I'm going to open up the mat board and tilt it back. And I'm going to lightly mark the corners with my pencil. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. I guess you can. And that way when I go to stick the print back on, after it has the adhesive on there, it's lined up. And I just go ahead and mark all the corners. Now, I can take that off. And what we're going to do now is we're going to cut us a piece of the adhesive uh, off the roll 
and apply it to the back of the print. So this adhesive comes in a roll, it looks like this, okay, and it just rolls off of there. Be careful, it's really sticky. Uh, it comes with instructions. Take the time to read the instructions several times so you understand how to use it. Sometimes I have to refer back to the instructions, so I just keep them in the box with the adhesive. And it comes with a squeegee. And that all becomes self-evident here in just a few minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to unroll some of the adhesive. Okay, you want the glue side up. And we're just going to lay the print on there and kind of line it up. Okay, lightly press it down. Don't press it down real hard. Not yet. And then we're going to cut a piece of this adhesive off with our scissors. So you already see a piece of hair on there. Now this is positionable mounting adhesive, but when you get done with it, it becomes permanent mounting adhesive. So that's all we got there. We just cut us off a piece. And uh, the instructions say, um, see step number two, place the protective release paper, that's this, on a clean hard work surface printed side down. Place the adhesive coated item face down on the release paper. So print it side down. As you can see, it's got a printed side down. And we're going to put that down. And you turn the print upside down on the paper like this. Okay, and then what you do is you take your squeegee and you start working it like this. And what it's doing is it's transferring that adhesive off of that piece of paper onto the back of this print. Now, when we get done mounting this, you are not getting this print off of this backer board. Okay, now I do this for all my 11 by 14 prints. Uh, on my 8 by 10s, I normally just um, free hang them, and I'll show you one of those uh, later on in the video how I do that. But if you don't do the 11 by 14s um, like this, they will buckle in the mat because they're so big. And I found this out the hard way. So I'm pretty sure I got that all transferred off. So what I'm going to do now is remove that, and I can put this, I can put this backing paper up. Don't need it anymore. Not right now. Now we're going to peel this off. So what I like to do is to get my mat board ready, okay, and we're going to peel this adhesive off. Now it is really sticky. So you want to be really careful that you don't touch your print with your fingers once you get some of this on your fingers. But I just start here in the corner and I just start peeling it off. Like I said, don't touch the front of your print. Okay, and this stuff will just peel right off onto your print. Okay, and then what you do is you lightly lay it on your mat board, on your backing board and kind of line up your marks. And I got a little bit on my finger right here, so I'm gonna rub it off because I don't want to touch my print. And print has a, been in this room for a while. It's got a little dust on it. Now we're gonna take your transfer paper, this uh, that I had earlier, um, and then we're going to uh, we're going to lay that on there. The instructions say, um, so what it's saying now is we need to put the backing paper on here and this time it's with the face up and then we're going to apply pressure with the squeegee and it's going to permanently mount this to the backing board. You just want to make sure you get pretty good pressure on it. It doesn't have to be hard. Now that is mounted. Okay. And that is a completed mounting process. That's all there is to it. 
Now, what I like to do before I go any further is I like to sign my print. So down here at the bottom corner, I'm going to sign my name with the number two pencil I had. And that's that. Completed, ready to go in the clear bag, and ready to be sold to somebody. So now I'm going to show you an alternate way of mounting a 8x10 print on the backing board. And what I like to do is, is a very similar process. Um, you got two backing boards here. It's a very similar process, except we're not going to use the PMA. We're going to uh, just float it on the mat on the backing board. I'm not too sure what you call that. But first thing we want to do though is create the hinge for the mat in the backer board. And again, we're going to use our linen hinging tape that we got from Amazon. And there'll be a link to that in the descriptions where you can buy that. That is if you're going to do this on your own. Um, I do this a lot because I go to art shows, so I'm constantly matting prints and putting them in clear bags, getting them ready to go to art shows to sell. So, so I got my linen tape here, and I'm going to, I got this lined up, and I'm going to apply the linen tape, okay, and then I'm going to close this up, and then here's my print. So I'm going to put my print inside on the backing board. And one good thing to do if you're going to be doing a lot of these is to wash your hands before you start. I'll go in there and wash my hands with some Dawn, get all the greasy oils off of it. I have a pair of gloves that I normally wear to do something like this, but I haven't wore them. I usually just wash my hands real good. So that's just about where I want that to sit in that frame. So again, we're going to use our glass. We just use this for weight. Now, an alternative uh, to this glass is a, um, a cornhole bean bag that I have. I'll show it to you here. An alternative to this is a bean bag. I had this um, bean bag from I don't know years past. It was on. I think it was used in a cornhole board. So you can just lay that on the print like that. Or you can use the glass if you don't have one with a sock on it. This is what I used to use in the beginning, but I switched to this bean bag. A little bit more convenient. Then again, we're going to mark the corners where the print sits. Okay, we kind of like, careful not to move it. Okay. Actually, you don't have to do that to this one. But um, while that's on there, what I do is I take some of this archival tape that I bought, and it's real thin. It's not, it's not even an inch thick. It might be three quarters of an inch thick, but it's probably about an inch thick. And I've had it for a real long time. It goes a long ways. And I'll get me uh, four pieces of tape off of here about that long. And I use the corner of my desk here to kind of hold them and cut them off. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a hinge that's double-sided tape, and I'm making it homemade. Um, you could probably buy double-sided tape, archival tape, to do this with. This is something I've had around the house for about 20 years, and it was a pretty good-sized roll. I never used it all up. So what I do then is I take two pieces of tape, like so, and I reverse them so they're sticky to sticky. Now you have a little T-hinge what I call a little T-hinge. And it doesn't really matter how you put that on there. Most of the time I put it on like this. But I'll slip it under the print like so. And I'll just press down. And then I'll do the same to the other side. Now this is removable. Um, this, the, this process right here, it's not permanent. Not like the bigger print that I did earlier. So all that does is hold it in there. And then by you putting the mat down and um, mounting it in a frame, in a glass frame, then that pretty much holds it together. 
Now we're going to do another one of these, but this time we're going to use the positional mounting adhesive uh, like we did before. So now we're going to use the PMA adhesive and mount this print permanently on this uh, mat board and backing board. So again, the first thing we do is we line up the mat board and the backing board and we cut us some linen hinging tape. I know I've done this, uh, doing this three times on this same video, but maybe I'll uh, improve as I go along here and answer any of your questions you might have about using PMA. And there's our mat board and our backing board. So we're going to take this image, this photograph, and we're going to put it underneath there and kind of line it up to where you want it. I kind of look at the edges here to make sure I've got about the same margin when I lay it down. Okay. And this time I'm going to use my bean bag and lay that on the print to hold it in place. And we'll take our pencil. And we'll mark the print so we know where to position it when we get the adhesive on the back of it. So there's no guesswork. We pretty much know where it goes. Okay, I'll take the bean bag off. And we're going to set this aside just for one second. And we're going to get our PMA back out. And um, now this is, I don't know, this is probably. Since this is 16 inch stuff and these are 8 inch prints, I'm probably going to go ahead and just do two of them. I've got two to do. That way I don't waste this piece over here. So I'm going to go get my other print. I have a, a third print we're doing. And I'm going to go ahead and, and lay that on there so I can cut this. Here's my other print. And what I need to do is. See, as long as you don't put it on there, I need to get it right down to the edge because this is 16 inches and these prints are 8 inches. So by doing it this way, you're using less um, adhesive or you waste it. You're not wasting as much. That's pretty close right there. See that? Now I got two prints lengthwise. Like I said, it's 16 inches this way, two 8 inch prints. So. You're only using uh, 10 inches of material. We'll put the PMA adhesive away. And then what we're going to do is get our transfer paper. And it said printed side down, I'll refer to my instructions again. Uh, number two, place the protective release paper on a clean hard work surface printed side down. Place the adhesive coated item face down on the protective release. So we got that part right. So the face down, like so. And then all we're going to do is squeegee that on there for both prints. We're going to go ahead and do both at the same time. And all you do is just work it back and forth. Make sure all that adhesive gets transferred off. It's the pressure, putting pressure on it, what transfers the adhesive. Okay. So now that that's done, we'll take that off and turn it over. And we're going to work on this print, this one here first, because this is a horizontal print and I don't have my mat board ready for that. But I do have it ready for the vertical print. So again, just grab the print and don't touch the front of the print with your sticky finger. Just kind of work on it. This takes a lot of practice, okay? Um, you'll get it. Just peel it all off in a slow, deliberate motion and then what we're going to do, I'll move this to the side so you can see we're going to lay this on the backer board and we're going to line it up as long as you don't press on it, it'll move 
I'm going to line it up to the notches, the little marks I made right there and there. And we're just going to lightly push on it with the fingers to set it. And then we're going to take our transfer paper. And we're going to do the same thing, this time with the printed side up. I'm going to squeegee that on there. And there you have it. All ready to go. Now, folks, that's how you use positional mounting adhesive made by 3M. You can purchase that at Amazon. I'll put links to that in the description below. And thanks for watching.